All right, well, I'm chatting with Tesla right now on this Powerwall install. So basically what happened was there, as far as I can see, and when I was pricing this in October of 2023, there's supposed to be a multi-unit discount. I bought three Powerwalls. I already had solar. So when I get their invoice uh, from a revised purchase agreement, I realize it's missing the discount. I go on their website. I'm like, it's still showing a $4,000 discount. The screenshot that I have from an email, October 6th, I said, can you explain the difference in this pricing? I, I had the $4,000 discount. I'd emailed another installer. I'm like, what's the deal on your pricing versus their pricing? And it had all the details. So, yes. And hang on one second. Let me tell Tesla I'm live streaming this. So if you guys would like share this, retweet it. Maybe I can get some something done. Let me type to them. They're like, you know, can I share it with my supervisor? Yes. I'm live streaming in this. Let me tell them they're live streaming. So maybe if we put some pressure on Tesla, I, I think I'm in the right here, live streaming. Uh, so if you uh, look on YouTube, So anyway, so here's what happened. So, you know, as far as I can see, there was a discount then because I was emailing another person on October 6th. My original invoice from my Tesla was October 1st. Um, you know, I've never seen a, a pricing without a multi-unit discount for buying three power walls. So what happened was they came out, they looked at the place, they did a design. Then I get this design from Tesla and they're like, well, we're going to have to trench, uh, you know, 10 feet out and put a slab there and put your power walls on that. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. The installer didn't say anything about this. You know, this and this additional four thousand dollars, they wanted to do it. So I said, you've got a slab right here. Why can't you put them right there? So that's what they did that, you know, I finally convinced them. Yeah, that's fine. I'm like, yeah, it is fine. It's like an eight inch concrete slab. I've already got that. You don't you don't need another one. So then they come back and they fix that. The mistake that they made, which I didn't catch because this was in December, like two and a half months later, it took me like six weeks to convince them. I didn't need this like five or six weeks. I'm, I'm five or six weeks. And they're like, Oh, sorry. Yeah. We, we dropped the ball. Basically. <laughs> I'm like, okay, you wasted over a month of my time. So I'm losing money on power anyway, because you know, I can't store my solar power. I'm having to import it, so I'm paying extra. Anyway, trust me, it costs me money. So what I missed was on that invoice in December, it didn't have a multi-unit discount on it. And I signed it because they had taken the slab off. So basically kind of what happened was like they distracted me with this, you know, $4,000 upcharge that I didn't need. I'm like, okay, finally, you took that off. So I'm like, great, you took it off. Missed the part where they also took my multi-unit discount. And I have an email from the other uh, connected solar person to company because I'm like, you know, trying to look at Tesla's pricing versus theirs. I said, October 6th, here's the date. This is what your price, this is what your website shows in this screenshot five days after my order. So they're essentially trying to say, well, during that five days, uh, yeah, you shouldn't have got the discount or something. I'm like, what? So you're saying the pricing was different on October 6th, supposedly, than it was on October 1st? But now it's, also still a multi-unit discount. I'm like, so there was a narrow window in there somewhere where I shouldn't have gotten it. Seems kind of low odds because I've, I've looked since then and it's always had a multi-unit discount. And again, they try and tell me, oh, because you didn't get solar, you don't get that. I'm like, that's not what your website is showing me because I told it I already had solar and it's still showing a multi-unit discount. So now they're like, oh, well, let me let me send this up to my supervisor. I'm like, yeah, I kind of think you should because this doesn't sound right to me. It, it's like almost like a bait and switch or something like, should I have to watch every single little detail? And I'm glad I didn't agree to that trench. I didn't. I'm glad I didn't just go. Oh, OK. Another forty two hundred dollars. Yeah, that's fine. You know, I, I used my brain and said, no, you don't need to do that. And then finally, after they agree, like, yeah, we don't need to do that. So Tesla, 
If you're thinking of Tesla Powerwalls, watch out. Screen just keep a file folder full of like screenshots because this the whole thing from one end to another has been not a great experience. Like I'm pretty happy with the equipment and everything how it's working as it stands, but they've tried to charge me money and then they had this contract that they revised, but you know, distracted me, and now they're trying to get that same four thousand dollars basically back. It is n that is not good. This does not sound like a company that. If you do business with them, you want to mind your p's and q's, and don't get me started on their solar installs. I did not use them for a solar install. I have an in phase system with in phase microinverters. It was installed by a third party company that Tesla had nothing to do with. And I'm so glad for that because I've also seen an ugly one. Well, one ugly one. I've seen multiple ugly Tesla installs where they run conduit on the inside of the house to connect everything. My conduit goes through my attic. So my house, there's one spot in the back that has like a little tiny bit of conduit. You can't even see it from the ground. I've seen some downright ugly ones that have 15 feet of conduit showing from the street. So please leave a comment. Please, you know, upvote this. Please send it to somebody. I, I don't think I'm asking for anything crazy here. And like I said, they had original, you know, they additionally said, you know, we'll send you this, send the invoice up. And now they're about like, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, we were wrong about that. And also they've been sending me texts like pay us taxes or taxes, taxes, taxes text where they're like, pay us, pay us, pay us. I'm like, well, we'll as soon as you fix the invoice. Today was the third time I chatted them about this because I'm like, the invoice still isn't fixed and you keep sending me these harassing invoices, uh, text to pay you the invoice. I'm like, yeah, fix it and I will. And today they come out like, oh, sorry, it's uh, yeah, it's another $4,000. So that's what this whole thing is about. You know, thanks you for patient, you know, watching this. I, I realize that I'm rambling. So if you need some clarification, leave a comment. Really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.